You know, nobody has actually reported on this information, but it might be the single greatest game-changing technological feat in the battery industry in the last decade. I know that's saying a lot, but this is big, big news. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all you new subscribers. Great to have you all here. Welcome back to everyone else. 2022 is going to be a great year. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. You've made everything possible. We really, I really appreciate what you do. Big thank you to you. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account if you want to jump on and support the channel in 2022. That would be fantastic. And as I tell my boys, it's the giving that's better than the receiving. So I plan to give to you guys more and more good content over the course of this year to work my hardest to make sure you find out what's going on and you get a good idea of what is happening in the industry overall so you can better invest your money or make better car buying decisions. Now, CATL, the world's largest battery company, there's been some recent news saying LG Chem, LG Energy Solutions, the second biggest battery company in the world, based in South Korea, plan on catching up and surpassing CATL. I mean, honestly, do they genuinely believe that? This is just ludicrous. I mean, how is this going to happen? Just look at what CATL's done in the last 12 months. There's no catching them from here. It's not going to happen. Anyway, CATL's new patent allows anode-free sodium iron battery density to go above 200 watts per kilo. Now, I made a video talking about sodium iron batteries, how they will change the world. That video's had more views and 95% of the videos I've made. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. I don't know how good the quality was, but the message was what was important. Sodium batteries will eventually be very soon 30% cheaper than lithium iron phosphate. In other words, energy storage will be completely revolutionized all over the world. But if the energy density is over 200 watts per kilo, so might car batteries. I mean, this could be an game changer for the entire battery industry. I mean, 200 watts per over 200 watts per kilo for batteries that are probably about 50% cheaper than most batteries in most cars today. That is insane. And you know what? You're probably saying, yeah, but it's not proven until we see it proven. And I hear this, these comments all the time. Oh, but this is just a research report. No, it's freaking not. This is CATL. This is the world's largest battery company. Sorry, my friends. This is legit. If you're one of those naysayers, then just go stick your head in the sand and just stay, say all your stupid comments in the sand because I don't want to hear them. When we're talking about CATL, we're talking about a company that they literally are already producing sodium batteries today. So yeah, no, this is legit. This is real. Now, in July 2021, CATL developed its first generation sodium iron battery. Its single cell energy density can reach 160 watt per kilogram. It has an impressive fast charging capability allowing it to get 80% charge after 15 minutes at room temperature. I read that. That's from a report in China. doesn't say how big this battery is. So that's sort of neither here nor there. But anyway, the point here is June 2021, they had a battery that was production ready, sodium battery. CATL said at the time, these batteries will be 30% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate, which are already insanely cheap from CATL, cheapest in the industry. 30% cheaper, they said it will be within a couple of years. But 160 watts per kilo of energy density back then, that is already a higher energy density than their lithium ion phosphate batteries. So not only are we talking higher energy density back in July, we're talking about within a couple of years, 30% cheaper than LFP. Now we're moving the game. Big game changer here, going from 160 to more than 200 watts per kilo. Today, CATL applied for a patent for anode-free metal battery technology, which Tesla's Chinese battery supplier would use in the next generation of sodium iron batteries. So why sodium? Well, for a better understanding, let's see why sodium iron is, is the center of attention for CATL and looks to be in their future for competing directly with lithium iron batteries. The supply of sodium salt raw materials is plentiful. The price is very low. It's one of the most abundant materials on the planet. The iron manganese nickel based cathode material is utilized instead of lithium iron battery material and the raw material cost is therefore cut in half. One of the reasons is iron is abundant, massively abundant and insanely cheap. And obviously manganese and nickel make up a small percentage of the cathode material. Iron makes up the larger percentage, therefore drastically bringing down the costs. Now, because of the properties of sodium salt, it's possible to utilize a low concentration electrolyte to save money. 
In addition, because sodium ions don't really form an alloy with aluminium, aluminium foil may be utilized as the negative electrodes current collector, lowering the cost by around 8% and reducing the weight by 10%. Now, what are the limitations of sodium ion? There are some. Sodium iron has a more significant volume and higher requirements for materials, structural stability, and kinetic characteristics than lithium iron. Now, weight is a big issue here. Because sodium is three times heavier than lithium, sodium ion batteries are likewise heavier, despite lithium accounting for less than 5% of the battery's overall weight. Remember that lithium only accounts for less than 5% of a battery's overall weight. So people talk about lithium ion batteries and because they don't understand really what's in a battery, I think a lithium ion battery is all lithium. It's not. Only a small percentage of the actual end product is actually lithium. Now, because of the 0.3 volt lower cell voltage, sodium batteries lose roughly 10% of their energy density, making them less potent. So energy losses after charging are another issue. This is partly because previous graphite anodes used in batteries absorbed far too little sodium. Industrialization though of sodium ion batteries has hit a snag as a result of these challenges. So, CATL's new patent. For many years, CATL has been spending a lot in R&D to overcome these limitations, and CATL has created a hard carbon material with a unique porous structure that allows extensive sodium ion storage and rapid transport. Now, CATL is saying that implementing this technique allow battery energy density to be significantly enhanced from its natural state with their next generation sodium ion batteries energy density exceeding 200 watts per kilo and importantly right less losses over time in terms of battery degradation so it seems to me as though if catl are saying they've done it they've got the product it's working they're putting the patent in place it seems about 90 percent likely these will be commercialized within two years and that my friends will change the automotive industry potentially but certainly change the battery storage industry whether that's home storage whether that's commercial level storage whether that's you know citywide industrial level storage it will be dramatically changed massively as a result of these batteries now if you're getting this kind of energy density from batteries that are 30 percent cheaper than lithium ion phosphate batteries and you have to say this is an amazing achievement and catl well if i could invest in them i would but i can't the only way you can invest in catl is by buying two etfs that i know i've called lot and b-a-t-t who both own a small percentage of catl other than that, if you're a Chinese citizen, then you can go ahead and buy the stock. But the main news here is that this is amazing news because what do we need to change the world? We need energy storage because solar and wind, they provide the energy generation. Of course, there's some intermittency, some sort of issues there where one thing might be on and one thing might not be. But we need around six hours of energy storage to solve the entire puzzle. But obviously, energy storage is still, you know, it's still relatively expensive. The price is coming down. But technologies like this will put further downwards price pressure on them and honestly, eventually solve pretty much all the world's energy storage challenges. So that is the good news. I can't understate just how important these new batteries are. And I think you'll find, as I report on these batteries and this technology over the coming years, that it will be the game changer that I'm claiming that it is. Thanks for watching the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Uh, are these wonderful? Are they as good as they get what I think? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and have a great day. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.